pressure. Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Yo, we got to backtrack for a quick minute. We got to talk about Terrence Crawford. And I know this news is a little bit late, but Terrence Crawford said he wants to fight Errol Spence next. If he can't get Errol Spence next, he wants Manny Pacquiao. Wow. Does that make any sense? We'll get to that in just a second because we got we to break down what old Bud is doing over there at top rank. And from what I understand, you know, a lot of y'all are... are Pushing for Terrence Crawford because he's he's a good guy and he, he said it's about his legacy and it's not about the money. Well, you know what? I don't give a shit about any of that. It's always about the money, all right? Money makes the world go round. That's all that matters, money. At the end of the day, you're going to get the fight you want to fight. Why not make the money that you want to make? But hey, you know, butt ain't hurting, so we're not talking about his pockets, I guess, right? So my thing is, and we can start with Manny Pacquiao. You say you want to fight Manny Pacquiao next, but when you and Manny Pacquiao were with the same promoter, why didn't you get the Pacquiao fight then? Why didn't Uncle Bob give you that fight with Pacquiao? That would have been a good fight for your legacy, and this is before he lost to Jeff Horn. Why didn't you get that fight, bud? Are you being promoted by the appropriate promoter right now? Because it seems like You've never really gotten the big fights for your career, you know? Yeah, you unified at 140. You had all the belts, but, I mean, who'd you beat? No, no one even, like, who's the, who's the dude? Who, who's, the, who's this man? Who did he beat? I don't forgot this dude's name. I don't forgot this dude's name because it's been so long and nobody cares about him. And he's done absolutely nothing since you beat him. Even Regis Progress beat the living shit out of him. I'm not even going to speak his name on this channel. Now... That's a great accomplishment, but you moved up to 147. Yeah, you beat you beat Jeff Horn. Great. I mean, he, he beat Pacquiao. Personally, I feel like Manny Pacquiao won that fight against Jeff Horn, and they gave it to him because it was over in, in Australia. But you see what happened. To, you know what? I ain't even going to do that. I was about to say something real mean, you know. Um, it's messed up what's going on over in Australia, real talk. Um, if you're listening to this video and you live out there, be safe. But anyway... Back to this fraud, Terrence Crawford, all right? Again, a lot of you guys cape for Terrence Crawford. I don't cape for none of these fighters, all right? We got we to gotta just tell it like it is. At the end of the day, if you were somebody, Bob would have gave you that fight with Manny Pacquiao. If you had any stroke, if you had any pull over there, you know, you're talking about your legacy. Well, if it's about your legacy, then you should be pushing for the biggest fights you can, right? You should be trying to secure the biggest fights that you can for your career. But instead... We got to look at Terrence Crawford because he got a fake belt over there at top rank. He got the ECW belt. Ain't nobody checking for that. Nobody's checking for that. Your biggest win to date is Gamboa. When was that? 2014? Come on, man. Who have, you, who have you fought in the last six years? Hank Lundy? <laughs> Hank Lund Hammer and Hank Lundy? Come on, man. Who are you fighting next? Do, do we know this guy that he's fighting next? I can't pronounce his name. Terrence Crawford has made bad decision after bad decision his entire career. You know, you re-signed. You re-signed with uh, top rank. You're not getting the fights you want. You know, you're... <laughs> and here's another thing. Sean Porter called you out recently. And you acting like you don't want no smoke with Sean Porter. When this would have been a perfect opportunity for you to take. And apparently, his team was reaching out to you for that fight. And you know how Sean Porter is. He don't mind taking the B-side money. He don't mind taking the back seat to the A-side, right? He don't mind doing it. Even though Sean Porter might arguably be bigger, a bigger fighter than Terrence Crawford at this point. Come on, man. Like, you ducking Sean Porter when you could have fought Porter. The thing is, matter of fact... I'll take it a step further. Kell Brook, name recognition. He called you out. You didn't want to fight him. My big thing has always been, hey, if I'm a fighter and, and the guy that I'm, I'm trying to fight, the, the other big name in my division, I'm trying to fight him. I can't get the fight. Well, let me go ahead and beat the living shit out of some of his leftovers. That's what Pacquiao was doing with uh, Mayweather. 
He couldn't get the Mayweather fight, so he was beating all his leftovers, right? So Terrence Crawford, why didn't you? Why why didn't you fight Kell Brook? That would have been easy work, and you could have you could have gave, given us an argument like, okay, it took Spence this many rounds to beat him, and then Terrence Crawford does it in much more impressive fashion. Then you fight Sean Porter. Oh snap! I'm fighting Sean Porter. You know I didn't go 12 rounds with Porter. I actually stopped Porter. Man, there's your bargaining chip because we know your belt don't mean nothing right now, but. You know, Spence is going to go around and collecting all these belts like he Thanos. But you know what? You know what? Errol Spence got his own issues with that, that car accident. You know, I don't know if he's going to be the same after that. But, you know, time will tell. But back to the guy who's making these stupid decisions with his career, Terrence Crawford, idiot. You know, you fighting this guy now. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get a big fight in 2020. You know, Sean Porter called you out. Danny Garcia called you out. All these dudes are calling you out. And you can't <laughs> and you can't say Spence is ducking. Like that's that's the thing that gets me every time. How you ducking a guy that's beneath you? How you ducking somebody when you going around collecting belts? When you going around beating world champions? What world champions is Terrence Crawford beating right now? What what unification bouts is he at at 147? What fight what big fights has he made at 147? None. Zero. That, that's all I'm trying to figure out. Like, being a top rank has not helped his career at all. And, you know, whether you guys want to believe it or not, when you got two big names like this, it is hard to negotiate the fight. When it's about money, it's not about legacy. Nobody cares. Like, these fighters don't give a shit about their legacy. They care about money and getting paid the right amount for the opposition that they're facing. Danny Garcia said he wanted that smoke too. He said, pay him. He said, I will fight you. Just pay me. But y'all ain't got no money over there at top rank. You know, Terrence Crawford fighting the bum of the month. I don't even know when this nigga's fighting again. Like, that's the, that's the thing. I don't even know when Terrence Crawford's next fight is. Is it going to be on pay-per-view? Sure hope not, because it's going to flop just like the last one did. And we're not, and we're not even caping for PBC. It's just... You got to look at the situation, analyze it. Terrence Crawford don't really want any of those problems. He's taking the easy route to becoming a champion at 147 by fighting TBE Jeff Horn. Shout out to him. But, you know, Terrence Crawford doing interviews talking about he not looking to eat him and Sean Porter are friends. And you ain't even go to the man's wedding. You ain't his friend. Why don't you fight him next? Easy work. And you want to fight Spence coming off a car accident. Come on, man. Why don't you start doing some interviews or something? Why don't you start? Why don't you open up a Twitch account? Why don't you open up one of these gaming channels and just game or something, man? Because your brother doing the commentary for you ain't cutting it. It's not, it's not, it's not moving me to want to watch a, a Terrence Bud Crawford fight when he's fighting the bum. And you got dropped in your last fight. Wait a second. He already fought, he already fought the bum, didn't he? Man, see, that, that just goes to show you, man. That goes to show you how out the loop I am. He, I just remember he just fought the he just fought the guy with the unpronounceable name and got dropped by him. What a joke, Hitman Boxer. I'm done talking. I'm done giving Terrence Crawford any sort of free publicity. All right, until so he comes out, makes some good moves with his career, and fights one of these PBC guys because they're not ducking him. They want to fight him. He don't want to fight them. Hitman Boxing. Drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. I'm out.